Welcome to my cosy corner of the internet. I'm Maya Starr and today's article is titled An Exploration of the Emissaries of the Light Ascended Masters, Avalonians and Pleiadians A Maya Starr Energy Healing Article This article looks at the energetic structure of reality and the intelligence behind it. We discover different types of light beings including Pleiadians, Ascended Masters and Abalonians and we consider ways to connect with the spiritual dimension through intelligent and powerful emissaries of the light. If you enjoy mysterious and magical spiritual content, please consider subscribing and share this page with your friends and listen to the end for my recommendations for your next step. And now, let's explore. This abridged article is drawn from the Emissaries of the Light series of attunements channeled in 2020. A light, the universal light, the source, the field, the unified field, the universe, the power that moves the universe and God are all ways of describing the same principle, the spiritual foundation of all living things. Whether you subscribe to a particular philosophy or religion and seek to understand this force, or you simply acknowledge the existence of an ethereal otherness or eternal presence in your life, but don't worry about trying to pin it down. The concept of a spiritual origin and dimension to life is common to billions of people all over the world and throughout time. We may choose to interact with that spiritual principle in a church, during meditation or through sacred rituals. However we express, experience and embrace the light our relationship with it is unique, personal and very hard to articulate. If you acknowledge its importance, your relationship with the light grows, develops and changes throughout a lifetime and beyond. There are certain qualities that apply to this force. Reflecting on these can assist us to find a deeper communion with the light. The light is considered to be the energetic blueprint that underpins all of creation, manifest and unmanifest. It is the etheric spiritual source of life and consciousness. It is eternal, unlimited and boundless. It is unrestricted by time and the laws that apply to the temporal world. It is complete and unifies all that is seen and unseen throughout the universe. Sometimes this force is described as a deity and is personified as a mother, father or god figure. This illustrates the loving, supportive and nurturing nature of the light, but it transcends any and all of the definitions we apply to it. That's not to say reflecting on the nature of our divine source is a waste of time though. We can learn a great deal about ourselves and others and the world around us by connecting with the light and meditating on it. We can seek to learn more about it even if we know, ultimately, we lack the capacity to truly understand it. Emissaries of the Light spiritual guidance, support and empowerment. The emissaries of the light are beings and persons that exist as pure channels of the light. They are individual souls or consciousnesses that are aligned with the light so that they experience no separation from it and reflect it without corruption. This kind of consciousness is beyond the ego it's a state that is sometimes referred to as the sight or union with the Godhead. Essentially, through our spiritual practices, we are all seeking connection with the light. Through years of devotional practice, we may experience insight and visions that 
allow us to glimpse the truth of our spiritual nature. Emissaries of the light exist in that transcendental state perpetually. Alignment with them can assist us to deepen our relationship with the light. There are some different types of emissaries and we will look at some of these in this article. Ascended Masters, the Astral Realm and Enlightenment. Ascended Masters are spiritual light beings that exist in the Astral Planes. The Astral Planes can be considered transdimensional worlds that are not usually accessible to us, except through trance work and the achievement of higher states of consciousness. Some might call these astral realms the heavens or the spiritual dimension. The planes of the astral realm resonate at higher vibrations than those we encounter in the temporal world, so they are rarely accessible to us, except in dreams, visions and during out-of-body experiences, where the energetic body leaves the physical form for a time. However, as intangible as these places may seem to us, to the energetic beings that occupy them, they are as real and concrete as the physical world is to us. Ascended Masters are beings that provide support and guidance to those on a spiritual journey. Many of them have been human at some point and have ascended to a higher plane after death where they continue their work in assisting human souls to evolve and to express the highest spiritual principles accessible to them. They can provide healing and assistance in overcoming limiting beliefs, ego dominance and imbalance. They can provide comfort and help you to realize spiritual gifts such as clairvoyance, extrasensory perception or ESP, empathy and healing. Many healers, spiritual practitioners and occultists have worked with the Ascended Masters, so there are many definitions, stories and explanations applied to them. Some of these light beings have hundreds of names or are very complex so they might be approached by different people at different times in very different ways. When you connect with a spiritual guide, they often choose to appear to you in the archetypal form that will resonate most strongly with you. In summary, Ascended Masters are emissaries of the light that were probably, though not always, once human. They may have been healers, teachers, spiritual leaders or great mages while on earth. They achieved a level of spiritual development and self-realization that allowed them to ascend beyond this earthly realm and beyond the karmic cycles of reincarnation. We call this enlightenment. They exist on a plane of pure spiritual energy but concern themselves with our spiritual journeys. They are there to inspire us to realize our spiritual potential during incarnation and they will assist us in any way they can to do this, providing we approach them with pure intent, high ideals and without ego. Avalonians, Celtic light beings, the fairy realm and Glastonbury. The Avalonians are light beings that exist transdimensionally in the area of Glastonbury Tor in Somerset, UK. At this sacred site, two major ley lines, also called energy lines or fairy paths, converge at the famous Isle of Avalon. The Tor forms a portal to the hidden realms and there are often sightings of strange lights and UFOs in this location too. The origins of the Avalonians are mysterious, but they have a great connection to the earth and nature and to the fairy folk of tradition, also called the Fae or the She, 
you may want to work with the Avalonians if you have Celtic or English heritage or feel drawn to nature religions like paganism, Wicca or Druidry. Detailed courses are available from Maya Star to connect with these energies, including the Avalonian Alignment Program, Star of Avalon Ascension, and Avalonian Spectral Activations, Pleiadians, Star People, Star Seeds, and the Age of Aquarius. Pleiadians are also called the Star People. They are light beings that originate from the ethereal realms that exist transdimensionally to the stars of the Pleiades. They have connections to Lemuria, Atlantis and Avalon and are usually depicted as very tall, blonde-haired, blue-eyed humans with golden auras that radiate peace, warmth and harmony. They are concerned with the spiritual ascension of the planet itself, as well as with individual seekers. At the winter solstice in 2012, our sun moved into a dark area of the Milky Way, called the Photon Band. At the same time, the primary star of the Pleiades, Alcyon, moved into this band as well. This was a planetary initiation and marked the beginning of a period of accelerated spiritual expansion for our planet. This shift was the start of the age of Aquarius, the spiritual golden age. It is often referred to as the 2012 harmonic convergence. Working with the Pleiadians can help us to tap into these advanced currents of spiritual growth especially for those who feel called to provide healing and spiritual support for others, as well as those who identify as starseeds, indigos, lightworkers or empaths. There are a number of Pleiadian attunement courses available through Maya Star Academy, including the 2012 Pleiadian White Light Connections, Pleiadian Orb of Resonance, and Pleiadian DNA clearing and activation. If you feel drawn to connect more deeply with the Emissaries of the Light to progress your healing journey, you can find over a hundred attunement-based energy healing courses available on the Maya Star website at www.mayastar.net. I will be sharing a recommendation for your next step at the end of this video on YouTube. But first, I'd like to thank you for spending some time with me today. I hope you're leaving this video suffused with good vibes and great ideas. On this channel, I share my week ahead spiritual guidance and mystical musings for the collective, meditation soundscapes and energy healing articles to inspire and uplift you on your spiritual path. If you made it this far, please leave your favourite three emojis in the comment section below. And because your engagement really helps me out, if you like, rate, share, subscribe or comment today, I hope and intend that bountiful blessings will be brought to bear in all areas of your life this week. May brilliance, beauty and abundance abound. Why not take a moment to peruse the rest of this channel to discover more of my energy healing articles and relaxing meditations for some additional spiritual sustenance and magical motivation. If you're watching on YouTube, you'll find a great recommendation for your viewing pleasure in the cards at the end of this video. You can also follow me to receive daily spiritual guidance on my social media links to Instagram, Facebook, Pinterest, Podcasts, Spotify, Amazon Music, Apple Music, TikTok, YouTube, Tumblr, WordPress, Twitter and LinkedIn can all be found in the description of this video. Links to all my latest offerings can be found on the Maya Star website at www.mayastar.net. I upload inspiring spiritual content for you three times a week. So please, come back soon.
with blessings.